Hi, good evening. Ah, uh, yes. Hello. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Hello. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. What about you? How was your weekend? Uh, I uh, I worked. Oh, you worked? Yes. Both days, Saturday and Sunday, or just one day? Both days. Both days. Wow, that's heavy. Is that normal or do you do extra hour? Normal. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> well, so it's tired, I guess. And the rest of you, did you have a good weekend? Did you do anything interesting? How was your weekend? It's your chance to practice the simple past. No comments about your weekend? I ate. Uh, uh huh. Yes. Uh, okay. Good evening. Good evening. And and um in my case, I went to the church and I had a meeting. Two two meetings. The the first about the business administration. And the second, uh, how do you say diplomado, teacher? Um, it's a kind of a specialization or? Mm, okay. Uh, well, uh, is that a career at the university? Like a master? No, no. It, it's um, like a um, course. In, in uh, contabilidad accounting. Oh, yeah, it's a master degree then. Uh, no, mm -hmm. it is is uh, like a course, como un curso. Oh, so then in that case is a regular course. That's like a course. Okay, okay, and um, okay, in in my in my Sunday. And Sorry. the. Yes, you were busy. And, <laughs> yes, I, I, and even today, I, I am exhausted and bo boring. Como uh -huh. Bored. <laughs> You're exhausted yes. and bored. Yes, but uh, it's necessary for me. Yes. Um. Uh, this is all in my weekend. Uh, learn, learn, learn. <laughs> ah, is that every single weekend you're busy like that? Um, repeat, please. Is uh, are you busy like that every single weekend, or you rest? Ah, uh, for three months. Three months. <laughs> and the uh, and last uh, last weekend, mm -hmm. uh, the 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 first the first week. Um, um, yeah, sometimes I, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is for three months. But three months. Sorry. Okay, yes. but yeah, some uh, it it's gonna work. You see, uh, sometimes you need to sacrifice, uh, but it's gonna work. Yes, it's necessary. Sacrifice. Yes, and time is flying. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, nice. Um, nice. It, the, it, this is okay. No, uh, this is all in my week. All right. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else who would like to share the weekend uh, activities? In my case, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Oscar. In my case, my weekend, I was hanging out with my friends. Oh, yeah. nice that so you hang out with your friends. Did you uh, go anywhere? The, on Sunday, I went, I rode on motorcycle up to La Union because I love the ride. Nice, yeah. interesting. Good. As well today, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. But you had a great week, and I see. Nice, nice. Thank you for sharing. The the problem is that is that the after the class, I'm going to fill up my gas tank. Mm, sad if, story. <laughs> because if you see tomorrow, the price will increase. I, yeah, will increase. Okay, so yes. Do you think that they will increase? Um, yes, they do. Every single Tuesday or every two Tuesdays? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember, to be honest. All right. So uh, thank you for sharing, guys. So we're going to start today's section. Remember that... Um, Tomorrow is the last class, and I hope that everybody here is done with the platform. If not, and if you need help, please raise your hand. We are here to help. But it's important that all of you have completed the platform at, up to this point. If you haven't, please do it, because tomorrow is the last day. So, um, Yes, we're going to continue with the topic that uh, we were discussing the last week and we had this conversation. Um, we practiced the intonation for negative contractions, you remember? And we also had this conversation where we didn't have time to practice, so we were going to practice it today. Uh, let's start with this and then we're going to continue with the grammar for this topic. Let's share. Okay, I'm going to page 102 and pause so that you can repeat at home. Exercise 5 Conversation. I grew up in Texas. Listen and practice. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Were you born there? Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2000. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh. What was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. So, what do you think? W 
Well, uh... Is there any question about this uh, conversation or any new word or pronunciation? No questions? Okay, so remember that you have this conversation uh, in the presentation that I already sent. Uh, so we're going to create the breakout room so that you can practice. And after you practice in the breakouts, we're going to role, role play for all the class. Good evening. Hi. I'm going to share the presentation for you. It's a nice moment. Can you see the presentation? Yes. Okay. okay. Henry, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Eh, vamos a practicar, practice, practice en conversation. Okay. Let's go. Eh, Henry, tú organiza. ¿Cómo van las parejas? Okay. Um, Henry. Vanessa, Mar, Mario, Rosa Elba. Eh, Kenny and Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. No, 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 no problem. No problem, Henry. Okay. okay. <laughs> the eh. last, the last, Kenny and Henry. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go ahead. You can, can you start, Henry? Um, shop, uh, uh, Kenny. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> y, 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 perdón, uh, Mario con, con Rosa. Okay. Okay. Ok, comencemos. Ok. Eh, chop. Eh, I, I am Chop. Ah, ok, I am Melissa. Sasha, okay. where do you grab? Grab? I grew up in Texas. Where you were? Where you born there? Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 12, eh, como se dice, perdón, eh, 2000. 2000. 2000. How old oh. were you? How old were you then? I was, I, I was, I went to college here. Oh, what were you, major? Drama. I was, I was a doctor for five years of the college. Really? When did you become a hairstylist? Hairstylist? Because, because I'm new to money. And 
en alone y so what do you day what do you think oh to think oh, perdón and when um... cambiamos <laughs> Okay. Perdón, Henry. Okay. En NID, en NID es, eh, se finaliza con, la, con una T. H. NID. 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 En, en donde dice, so why do you think? Because I need the money. Why does I dig the money? Oh, ok. Ok. Y el, okay. el college, college sería... And drama. I was drama. an actor for five years after college. Ah, okay. 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 Solamente. Uh, next. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Yes. Rosa. Next. Pongámosle sabor a esto. Eh, hagámoslo <laughs> con, con datos. Con datos reales. Uh, o sea, lo mismo contexto y nos inventamos los datos en el camino. Adelante, Rosa. Tú comienzas. So, Mario, where do you grow from out? From I grew up in I grew, grew up in uh, San Salvador. Where you born there? Yeah, I was born in uh, Mexicanos. Um, When did you did the come to Los Angeles? To San Salvador? Creo que dijo San Salvador. In 2001. Oh, all were you then? Um, I was 20. I went to college there. Oh. What was your major? Major? Um, is a uh, uh, technical. I was a uh, electric technical five years uh, after college. Really? Why did you become um? Because I needed the money and I love it. So, what do you think? Well, oh. Okay, gracias. Next. Okay. No. Yes. <laughs> Vanessa. Recuerdo que éramos cinco. Vanessa. Ah, sí, Vanessa. Ok. Va, bueno, entonces, Kenny. Mm. James, Yo soy James. Ahora y tú eres, y tú eres Chuck. Va. Ok. Eh, so, Kenny, where did you grow up? I grew up in Sonsonate. Where were you born? Eh, where you born here, there? Uh, yeah, I was born in Nahuizalco. Okay. And when did you come to San Salvador? Uh, in uh, 2007. Uh, how, how were you then? Uh, how were you then? I was 19. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? I studied in engineering. I was um I was um <laughs> industrial <laughs> industrial Engineer for five years after college. Really? What did you come to a uh, uh, industrial engineer? Because 
I needed the money and I love it. So what do you think? That's okay. Me too. I am engineer, industrial engineer. Ah, really? Yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Duro. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay, we have the conversation here. Do we have volunteers to role play? Okay, I got Bridget. Who wants to practice with Bridget? Me. Thank you, Suleyma. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am Melissa. Okay. Uh, Sochok, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Were you born here? Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And with the, you come to Los Angeles? In 2000. How old were you think? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? With did you become a um, hairstyle? Because I needed the money and I, I love it. So what do you think? Well. Mm. All right. Excellent. You did a very, very good job. I just hear uh, the word. It, this one is why. La WH word se pronuncia why. Y acá el verbo es grow up. Grow up. Y luego se dice grow up. En pasado se pronuncia grew up. Grew up. Grew up. But then, good job again. So let's listen another two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay. I didn't see the hand. What's your name? No veo nada. <laughs> Laura. Okay, Laura, thank you. And who wants to practice with Laura? A volunteer to role play with Laura? Me. Okay, Me. thank you. I am shocked. Let's go, Laura. You're a Melissa. Okay. So shock. When did you when did you grow up, up grow up? I grew up in Texas. Were you born there? Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? Uh, in 2000. How old were you there? Were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a higher stylist? because I need the money and I love it. So, what do you think? Well, uh, excellent. You were doing proper intonation. Everything was good with your role play. I found that this word for some reason is kind of difficult. Hair stylist. Es la única que escuché que fue como un poquito. Necesitamos reforzar. So let's repeat, hair stylist. Hair stylist. Yes, thank you. Excellent. Y, y lo están haciendo más, eh, están más fluidos. Eh, buen, buen ejercicio. Creo que sí está haciendo bien la práctica porque los escuché. Uh, las participaciones que hicieron ahorita aquí en la main section, más fluidas. So, congratulations. 
Uh, do we have any other two volunteers? Or we continue? Okay. Let's continue then. All right. Um, after the conversation, we had the grammar. Esto vimos el video la semana pasada. Y si se nos, um, entre tanto, pues en las conversaciones que hemos estado practicando, se, se hace uso de la estructura del simple past siempre en las dos, eh, con los demás verbos que no tienen nada que ver con cero estar y también con el cero estar. Que, ¿Cuál podría ser la clave eh, para identificar? Primero es que cuando es un verbo que no está relacionado con cero estar, eh, cuando hay pregunta o es una oración negativa, usamos el auxiliar did. Y para oraciones negativas, did not or didn't. Okay? Esa podría ser una. Y cuando ven que está el verbo be, was aware, no hay did y tampoco hay otro verbo. Okay? So, si se fijan, son dos cosas como que no se mezclan. Ambos son pasado simple. Pero una estructura es pasado simple con um, verbos que no tienen nada que ver con cero estar y el pasado simple con cero estar. Any questions here? No questions? No. Okay, we have a pretty easy exercise here. It's the letter A. It says match the questions with the answers. So the first one is done for us. It's where were you born? And the answer to this question is in letter E in Hiroshima, Japan. Okay. Number two, where did you grow up? What is the answer to that question? Where did you grow up? Letter D. I grew up in Tokyo. Excellent. Letter D. I grew up in Tokyo. Letter D. Excellent. Number three. How was your first day of school? F. Letter, Letter F. F. Letter F. That's correct. It was a little scary. Now, number four, who was your first friend in school? Letter A. A, teacher. Yes, that's correct. It's letter A. Her name was Yumiko. And uh, what was she like? Number five. B. B, yes, she was really friendly. And finally, number six, what did you take this class? Letter C. Letter C, I wanted to improve my English. Like us. Like you, exactly like you. Okay, as I told you, um, in this case, tenemos WH questions we did, was and where, and in this exercise, En este que les agregué es donde vamos a hacer uso de lo que hemos visto, la sección 4 y esta sección 5. Ambas son pasado simple. Uh, primero vimos el pasado simple con el verb be, que decíamos era was y were. Y luego en esta sección 5 es past simple with other verbs not related with be. So the first one is done for us. ¿Qué tenemos que hacer? Encontrar eh, el error en cada una de estos items. Hay preguntas, hay oraciones afirmativas, hay negativas. Tenemos que encontrar cuál es el error y corregirlo. También vamos a hacer como una pequeña explicación en grupo del por qué. Eh, por ejemplo, podríamos hacer la primera. Vimos que dice they eat dinner at six o'clock yesterday. Estamos hablando en pasado, ¿verdad? En todas es pasado. Pero el verbo está en presente. Entonces sabemos que una oración afirmativa 
en pasado, el verbo se convierte a pasado. Y en este caso, un verbo irregular, el pasado de it es ate. So, nos quedaría de ate dinner um, six o'clock yesterday. Y luego tenemos number two, it's a question. Vamos a hacer las dos juntos para luego ir a los breakout room. Es una pregunta, dice, did Maria drove to work this morning? Uh, drove change for drive. Ok, me dice que drove tiene que cambiar a drive. ¿Por qué? Because you have a uh, auxiliar. Excellent. That is the answer. Porque tenemos el auxiliar did en esta pregunta y no es necesario eh, um, conjugar el verbo. Cuando hay auxiliar, no conjugamos verbo. Excelente. Eso es lo que van a hacer para estar haciendo como un tipo de repaso. Corregir los errores y hacer un pequeñito repaso, un análisis. Are the instructions clear? Yes. yes. Okay, good. So, vamos a trabajar esto en grupo. Recuerden que esto se las envié. Um, se las envié al WhatsApp group en la presentación del PowerPoint. Por eso, porque había agregado una diapositiva más, que es esta. Entonces, um, vamos a proceder a corregir los errores. No falta nadie. Eh, ¿Alguien puede compartir? Si no quiero ver, yo sí comparto desde el teléfono. ¿Alguien puede compartir en computadora? Si no, no hay problema. Quiero ver aquí. Quiero ver aquí. Este. ¿Se puede ver? Hello. Yes. Ok, let's go. Uh, number three, ¿verdad? Yes. I not finished my homework last night. Finish it. It's time passed. Mm-hmm. Pero yo creo que ahí debe de ser I didn't finish. Sin utilizar el ED. Sí, y agregando el didn't. Porque solo dice I not. Entonces, I para, not hacerlo, pa, para hacer pasado, el pasado respondemos con el did. I didn't finish my homework, my homework last night, que yo no finalicé mi tarea la noche pasada. Sí, así es. Muy correcto. Vaya. Eh, haremos... Number four. Did you boss last Monday? Did you boss see last Monday? 
El verbo. Uh -huh. El di. ¿Cómo está? Quiero ver. Está el auxiliar. Mm. Did you last Monday? Did you last Monday? Que si... Que si nosotros estábamos ocupados. Ocupado. Ajá. Pero sería... No, pero esa es una... Pregunta. Ajá, pero... Estoy si ocupado el lunes. Pero sería el último lunes ahí, la Monday. Pero como es cero estar, debe de ser where you. Pues sí, sí estuviste. Pero como es una persona de was. Ah, no, de you es, es no. where. Where, uh -huh. Uh -huh. where you was. Sería last Monday. Where you, where you last Monday. Así debería de ser. Va, entonces en la force sería where. Ajá, sería where you busy last Monday. Where. Okay, sí, it's okay. Let's go number five. Was she buy a new car yesterday? Was she buy a new car? No, no. new. No. Mm -mm. Estaba ella, estaba ella comprando un carro nuevo ayer. No, Eso que dice, sería eh, pasado ella... continuo y Ajá. no tiene que ser pasado continuo. Sí, el problema es que allí no va a guas. Des... Mm, por ahí va. Es, es como simple pass. Ajá, porque es una pregunta. Ajá, sería. Si voy a. Did. ¿Cuándo did? Sí, did she buy a new car yesterday? Ella, que si ella compró un carro nuevo ayer. Ajá, necesita el auxiliar did y no ese was. Ese was ahí no, no, no tiene sentido. El was. Uh -huh. Sí, porque ni es de, o sea. Quiero estar. No. Pues el, was, el, where, el was, el where, es cuando estamos en ser, en cero estar en pasado, el to be en pasado. Pero en este caso es una pregunta que no tiene que ver con cero estar. Entonces sería, did she buy a new car yesterday? Compró ella un carro nuevo ayer. Sí, sí, así es. Yeah. Yes, yes. Bye. And number six. Number uh, six. I want to go to Montreal to yours. Hago. Ahí tenemos. I want to go. Tenemos dos verbos en pasado. Sí, no, sí, when, ajá. El, el want. De ir, go. De, el de go. El, no, el want y el went. Ajá, el want. El, el went, went tenía que ser solo go. Porque como al principio el va to. I want. Sería, I want. Yo quería. Ajá. I want. Ir a Monterreal dos años. Ajá. Hace dos años. Hace dos años. I want to go. I want to go to Montreal two years ago. I want to go. Pero ¿dónde está el pasado sí. ahí? 
Ahí inglés. sería. Want. Wanted. Ajá. Uh -huh. I wanted to I go. Want, I want to go wanted. to Montreal two years ago. Porque no podemos tener los dos verbos en pasado. Sí. Entonces sería I want. That's correct. Wanted, que eso es lo uh -huh. que nos falta. La That is correct. Uh -huh. Ahí solo lo went, lo bien, está mal. Pero lo estamos pronunciando mal. Por eso no entendíamos. I want. O sea, dejamos sí. el wanted como está y el when lo pasamos a, a go. El, al, al... Sí, correcto. Vaya, number seven. What Casi no avanzamos. Ah? <ríe> bueno, démosle el siete, seven. Was your late for the meeting? Uh, I guess where? Did you say where? Uh -huh. Were you late for, for the meeting? Porque okay. para con you utilizamos where. Sí. Yes. And number A, what did you take? Take a two. Ahí el verbo también. Porque como okay. ya tenemos auxiliar did, el verbo no debería estar en pasado. Who did you, did you talk to? Talk, mamá. Talk uh -huh. to. Eh, auxiliar did. Eh, Como number ya eight. tenemos el auxiliar did, el verbo no puede estar en pasado. Sí, it's okay. Number A. Night. Where was your stay in Washington? Eh, where, sería el was por el where exacto where were you stay in Washington where were you stay ¿Dónde, in ajá, Washington dónde está quedando en Washington number 10 I was read the book last year and I was read estaba leyendo ese libro el, el año pasado I was reading, debe ser. I was reading. Sí, porque yo estaba, porque dice yo estaba leer. Entonces debe de ser el, el infinitivo de leyendo. Y para sí. eso agregamos el ING. I was reading sí. that book last year. I yo estaba leyendo book. este libro el año pasado. Yes, me parece correcto. I was reading the book last year. Reading. Okay. Yeah. 11. John yeah. fell to Argentina last week. Yeah. Last week, John fell to Argentina. Last week. Vamos a ver. Ahí sería el pasado. Ariel was. Pero es que ahí no es pregunta. Pero dice de que... que... John voló, voló, creo que dice, voló a Argentina. Sí, la yo no le veo bien. bien. Ah, yo sí, Flyer. Flyer, dice. Uh -huh. Yo pensé, pensé que sí, a Phil, de buscar. Uy, quiero ver. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, voló, dice. Ajá, yo voló, pero ahí no logro entender, no logro ver el error. Mm. Veamos, ¿cuál puede ser? El, el verbo siempre. El mm -hmm. verbo. Yeah. What's wrong with the verb? Mm -hmm. Igual que la otra. Ah, lo que pasa es que el verbo está mal escrito. Ajá, es irregular. Ajá, uh -huh. ese es... Porque ahorita ahorita eh, estoy buscando el verbo ese. Uh -huh. F, flow, flow, F, L, quiero ver, E, W, creo que. Ajá. F, F, L, E, W. Ajá. Flu. Ajá. Ajá, Así es, estábamos, estoy el verbo. estábamos tomando mal porque como le vimos el ED, pero es irregular. Uh -huh. Es irregular, ¿verdad? Ajá, es flu. Flu. Eh, 
¿Cuál es la pronunciación, Ticha? That's correct. It's flu. 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 Uh -huh. okay. John flew okay. to Argentina last week. Sí, flu. John flew to Argentina last week. And, okay. okay. Next. He wasn't at home last night. He wasn't. ¿Qué sería? He wasn't. Was, wasn't. Ajá. At home. Okay. Él no estaba en casa ayer en la noche pasada. Se fue de pinta. Se fue de pinta. He <laughs> wasn't at home last night. Wasn't. Ajá, ok. Net, este... I not see to movie last weekend. Ver. Le falta el auxiliar. I didn't. I didn't. ¿Qué les parece? Mm, sí, es igual que la otra. Es igual que la otra. Sí. Ajá, que sería... Yo no vi la película la, la semana película pasada. La película la semana pasada. Ajá. El auxiliar le falta. I didn't. Y el verbo porque se queda así. Porque está, está... El verbo está en la forma básica. Vea. Sí. 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 Yes, yes. Ahora, um, what do you do? What do you did last night? ¿Qué hiciste what, en la noche? What Pasado. did you? El orden es ahí. El orden. Ajá. What did you do last night? ¿Qué hiciste la noche pasada? What did you do? Porque what primero did... va el auxiliar. Mm. Sí, pero en este nombre sería la, sería la W question. Ajá. Después Ajá. de eso. Lo... Ajá, sería what did you do? Yes, it's correct. Ok. Um, did they Ajá. have a good time at the party? Has... has a good time at the party. At the, at the party. This day has a good time. Mm, ellos estuvieron a la hora en la fiesta. Ajá, pero allí. Vamos a ver. A mí me parece que allí el problema es el has. Porque has lo utilizamos con he, she, it. Entonces, en este caso, debe de ser, did they have? Have. Have. Have, uh -huh. have del, del tener en pasado. Sí. Sí. ¿Verdad que sí? Sí, es que, sí. Es que, aquí, es que con they, es que aquí le dice... Que si ellos tuvieron un. Tuvieron un buen tiempo. Un, ajá, en, en la fiesta. Tuvieron Entonces, muy... como has lo utilizamos con he, she, it, y en este caso they, deberemos de utilizar el have. Did they have. have a good time at the party? La última, eh, no sí. queda, la última, la última. Última. Did you in class yesterday? Este está. No, ese debe de ser where. Porque ahí sí es cero estar, que si estabas. Ahí le está preguntando si estaba. Uh -huh. Ajá, que si estaba. sería where. Where Ajá. sería. Where you in class yesterday? Ajá, porque ahí sí sería. Uh -huh. Where you in class yesterday. Ya pasamos, principiante tres, compañera. Ah, ya casi. <ríe> Congratulations. Nos falta un poco todavía, vea. Sí, pero estamos bien. Qué bien. Entonces, finish. Sí, ya casi se nos termina el tiempo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero a mí me parece que todas esas las resolvimos bien. Yo digo que sí. <ríe>
Okay, how was the exercise? Was it easy? Was it difficult? Was it entertain? Entertain teacher. Nice to hear that. Did you like it? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Like big it. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Our group was burning. Oh, you were burning. Yeah, burning the mind. <laughs> With with Mario, with Elsie, and I forgot. The, oh, and Vanessa. Mm, nice. So um, this kind of exercise makes you think a lot and review. <laughs> That's why they are good. So let's check your answers. So we did number one and two. Um, what was uh, the mistake and the correct thing in number three? I didn't finish my homework last night. Aha, uh -huh. so two things here, ¿verdad? Dos cosas. Yes, el auxiliar y el verbo. Uh -huh. Si estamos haciendo una oración negativa en pasado con un verbo como finish, entonces necesitamos auxiliar, did not. Habiendo auxiliar, el verbo no se conjuga. Entonces, I didn't finish my homework last night. Excellent. Well done. Now, let us take a look to number four. ¿Cómo les quedó el four? Volunteer? Did you with it like mon Monday? Una pregunta. Did you busy last Monday? Eh, ajá, pero está incorrecta. ¿Cuál sería lo correcto? Was. Was you busy last Monday? Where? Uh, excuse where? me. Uh, yeah, where. where? Uh -huh. Last Monday. Okay, excuse me. Where? 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 Yes, where. Where. Porque, ajá, uh -huh. busy es uh, ocupado, ocupada. Eso es un adjetivo. Entonces, siempre debe de existir un verbo. Ajá, entonces necesitábamos ese verbo, el cero estar. Y cuando hay cero estar, desaparece el did. Y para el sujeto you, el correcto es where. Were you busy last Monday? Excellent. Es así, creo que a muchos le dio dolor de cabeza, ¿verdad? Yes. <ríe> ok. Um, number five. The five change... Uh, bus for this. Uh -huh. We changed, uh, yes. This mm -hmm. buy a new car yesterday. Uh -huh. Tenemos dos verbos. Tenemos was y tenemos buy. Entonces, ese was ahí no tiene nada que hacer. Le quita todo sentido a la pregunta. Entonces, al quitar was, entonces ya nos queda nada más verbo. Al no ser el verbo cero estar, entonces se pone el auxiliar, did. Muy bien. Did she buy a new car yesterday? Good. Uh, number six. I wanted to went to Montreal two years ago. I wanted to go to Montreal two years ago. Excellent. Porque tenemos dos verbos en pasado. Uh -huh. Necesitábamos tener uno en infinitivo, ¿verdad? Y ya estaba la partícula to ahí. Entonces, cuando es infinitivo, significa partícula to. Y el verbo que le sigue en, en, en tiempo simple, ¿verdad? Sin conjugarse. Entonces, I wanted to go. Excellent. Nice job. Uh, seven. Esa era una fácil. You yeah. want was you you was late for esa es una pregunta cuando es pregunta where? no iniciamos ajá where. where where es el que se utiliza para el sujeto you como es una pregunta entonces sí teníamos que cambiar eso poner where were you were late, late for the meeting, the meeting? Uh -huh. muy bien number eight Who 
who did you talk to? The verb. El verbo. Ajá, ¿qué pasó con el verbo? Teníamos el auxiliar did, por tanto el verbo no puede estar en pasado. Who did you talk to? Excellent, that's the answer. And the explanation as well. Number nine, what do you have in number nine? Where, where? Pero tengo stay. Yeah. Tengo el verbo estar yeah. y estar. Where did you stay in Washington? Uh -huh. Where did you stay in Washington? Cuando es de, uh -huh, de permanencia, es stay. ¿A dónde, ¿A dónde permaneciste o estuviste? El tiempo que estuve en Washington, ¿dónde se quedó? ¿Con quién se quedó? ¿En qué lugar? Where were you? Eh, no es correcto. So teníamos que quitar ese was. Al quitar el was, él eh, necesitaba el auxiliar ahí. Where did you stay in Washington? Very good. Eh, number 10. Tengo dos verbos. Tengo was y tengo read. And I did. Mm, I did read, read the book last year. Tenemos una oración afirmativa. No valdide. Oh, only I read. I read. Ajá, Ajá, pero bueno. ¿cómo es en pasado? ¿Cómo lo pronunciamos? Red. Red. Excelente. <ríe> Quitamos ese was y ya la escritura nos queda igual, pero recordemos pronunciar en pasado el read es red. I read that book last year. Good. Um, eleven. Y aunque no es el tiempo, pero sería correcto. I was reading. Ese es tiempo pasado continuo y sí es correcto. Pero pasado continuo es el que puede llevar was como, digamos, un auxiliar. Y el verbo principal es el que toma ing. Past continuous. Es correcto, pero para presente, para pasado simple, perdón, no. I was read. No se puede I was read. En pasado simple pero no. Pero sería I read. I read. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I read that book last year. Number 11. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo quedó la 11? The verb fly is irregular. John flew. flew. Excellent. Ajá, es un verbo irregular. Quiere decir que no se traslada a pasado poniéndole ed, sino que son de los que cambian. Entonces quedaría flew. Es F-L-E-W. Jan flew to Argentina last week. Excellent. Now let's go to number 12. Wasn't. He wasn't. Ajá, wasn't. Porque es el sujeto. He, no se dice where, it says he was. Y negativo, wasn't. He wasn't at home last night. Excellent. Number 13. Um, didn't. I, didn't, I didn't see. I didn't see the movie last weekend. Excellent. That was a piece of cake. <laughs> Number 14. What did you do last night? What did you do? You do. Ajá, tenemos que cambiar primero el auxiliar did y luego el verbo do. What yes. did you do last night? Excellent. And finally, number 15. Where were you in class yesterday? Not 15. Where are you? Oh, 15. The, um... <laughs> Did they have a good time at the party? 
did they have? Ajá. Uh -huh. No se pone en uh, tercera persona singular. Present sí es have. Pero en este caso, did they have? Sin conjugarse. Very good. So you did an excellent job. Um, I'm happy that you enjoyed this exercise. Remember that tomorrow is the last class, so you must have the platform completed and finished with a minimum of 80%. So try to complete the platform and any question you can write on the chat. Okay, so thank you for joining today's section. See you tomorrow for the last class. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.